after all of the moves the Knicks have made this offseason, they are now seen as one of the best teams in the entire NBA. And that's with good reason, because they added in a blockbuster deal, Mikel Bridges to this team. And in doing so, they didn't have to break up their core in Julius Randle, Jalen Brunson, and OG Ananobi. But unfortunately, in free agency, they did lose their starting center in Isaiah Hartenstein to Oklahoma City Thunder. Given the current roster that the Knicks have, it begs the question, who should be the starting five for the Knicks headed into next season? Well, according to former NBA player Gilbert Arenas, he wants the Knicks to make a major adjustment to their starting five. And he wants Julius Randle to start at the five spot. We're going to break down these latest reports and so much more today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. And make sure you have notifications turned on so you don't miss a second of the new content. And now, let's get started. Gilbert Arenas wants the Knicks to change their starting unit. And the change he's proposing is to have Julius Randle start at the five. Now, under head coach Tom Thibodeau, we really haven't seen Randle at the five much. Honestly, at that position, we've really seen Jericho Sims, Mitchell Robinson, and Isaiah Hartenstein. Not really anybody else. And there's a reason for that. Tom Thibodeau likes to employ bigs at that position that can rebound, defend well, block shots, and at some point create a little bit of offense. If that's a putback dunk, a floater shot, whatever the case may be, that's what Thibodeau wants from his centers. And that's why if you put Julius Randle there, he's not going to really operate the same way Tom Thibodeau would really like his centers to perform. He would play his own type of game. Now, maybe that works at the center spot, but we haven't seen it enough yet. And under head coach Tom Thibodeau, I don't think that would ever work. In my opinion, if you put Randall at the five spot and ask him to change his game a little bit, you're not getting the same Julius Randall. And if you're changing his game and limiting him, it doesn't really help Randall. It hurts him. It hurts his game. And overall, it's going to hurt the Knicks. But before we break this down a little bit further, let's see what Gilbert Arenas had to say about the Knicks and the change he wants them to make to their starting five. The New York Knicks are known to slip from the brink of glory, often derailed by injuries, a scene much highlighted in the 2023-2024 season. But things look to take a hopeful turn now. With Knicks star Julius Randle set to return, Gill's Arena crew discussed what the team is going to look like moving forward. According to Arenas, he states, Randle at the 5, OG at the 4, Mikel at the 3, Hart and DiVincenzo, Whoever is playing well, probably be, for the most part, Josh Hart finishing the game. He's going to do a little bit of everything. And then, obviously, the player that he didn't list there, but we all know he's going to be closing the game, Jalen Brunson. So that's the starting five he wants to see. Randall at the five, OG at the four, Mikel at the three, Hart at the two, and then Jalen Brunson at the one. Now, it's easy to understand why Arenas is pitching the Knicks to utilize this lineup because it really utilizes each and every single one of our best players within this starting five. You have Randall, basically our three-time All-Star. Jalen Brunson, starting at point guard. You have Mikel Bridges, who can absolutely play wing. Josh Hart, who is a great defender. He can give you everything, and he does just a little bit of everything when he's out there. So perfect for the two as well, too. Then OG Ananobi, with his size, the way he can switch on each and every single defender, he's great for your four. And then Julius Randle, he's big, he's strong, he can rebound extremely well. So having him at the five on paper, all of this sounds right, it looks right. And on paper, it looks like this team can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any roster in the league. However, just because it looks good on paper, it doesn't mean it's going to look good when it's going to be played out that way. Randle at the five, in my opinion, hurts my head a little bit. Because if he's at the five, he's going to have to change his game a little bit. He's going to have to limit his game a little bit. And if he's doing that, it's only going to hurt the Knicks. Mikel Bridges at the three, clearly he can do that because him and OG Ananobi can continue to switch. They have the size. They both are very good defenders and they can guard any position on the floor. So it's great to have them both on the floor out there and having the ability to switch between Mikel and OG, depending on who's out there and who has the hot hand on the opposing team. The Knicks can stifle each and every one of those players 
with lockdown defense, and they can get it really from each and every position out there. Jalen Brunson doesn't play great defense, but he takes charges. Julius Randle doesn't play great defense, but he's a physical specimen. He can bang with anybody, and he can get other players in foul trouble. We have to remember that as well, too. If you're asking me honestly, would I want to see this lineup run by Tom Thibodeau next season? I wouldn't want to see it run all the time. But in short bursts, depending on who we're playing, I wouldn't mind seeing this lineup. And if it worked, I would want Tom Thibodeau to play it even more. We just have to see it to understand if everybody understands their role and what they need to do. If there's no problem with that, I wouldn't mind running out that lineup a few times here or there, depending on who we're facing. But overall, I'm going to play to my coach's strength. And his strength is not having Julius Randle play the five spot. Tom Thibodeau thrives when he has a traditional center playing that position. That's why it's likely that you're going to see Julius Randle play the four and Mitchell Robinson start at the five for the Knicks next season. If the Knicks don't make a major move, if the Knicks make a major trade and get a better center on this team, he will likely be the starting center and Mitchell Robinson will still be the backup. But if that doesn't happen, it seems like the Knicks feel confident and comfortable having Mitchell Robinson start and going out there and trying to find a different center that they can have back him up off the bench. While Jericho Sims is there, and he could definitely do that, he is still very green, and I don't know if the Knicks believe in him enough to have him play that backup center position. The Knicks are clearly looking to make another trade to upgrade the center position. We saw this from recent reports as of yesterday, as Ian Bagley, an SNY NBA insider, reported that the Knicks were exploring trade conversations about Walker Kessler with the Utah Jazz and the center out of Charlotte, Nick Richards. The Knicks are clearly interested in adding one of those players, and the only reason they would be doing so is because they want an upgrade at the five spot. If they want to upgrade at that position, that tells you enough to know that they do not want to play Julius Randle there. They may not even want to have Mitch there, given his injury history. They want a player that can play that position consistently, be available each and every game, and be able to play high-level minutes and have an impact. Mitchell Robinson can't do that all the time. Jericho Sims, really a question mark. That's why the Knicks are out there right now working the phones, trying to upgrade the center position. Gilbert Arenas makes a good point. If you have Julius Randle at the five, OG at the four, Mikel at the three, Hart at the two, and Jalen at the point guard position, that team, talent-wise, would be very loaded. But in the course of one quarter, or maybe a half, or maybe three quarters, if you want to try to run that lineup out there, I think over the course of that time, that lineup would get worse and worse and worse. With the Knicks, the main thing that they have to do is ensure that everybody on their team knows their role and is playing it perfectly. Randall's role, three-time All-Star. Bully ball Randall. Go down low, try to draw as much attention as you can, either get contact, make the bucket, and go to the line and one, or pass out of that double or triple team, get somebody else open, and see them make the shot. Either way, Randall understands the assignment. He's not the center for us. He's our power forward, and he's been playing that position, especially recently, this past season, extremely well when healthy. The same thing is going to be true headed into this season with Julius Randle. He's going to be locked in. He's going to be focused. He's entering a contract year, and this Knicks team is currently built as a championship contender. All of those things being considered, the Knicks are going to run through teams during this season, and Julius Randle is going to be a big part of that but he's going to be a big part of that playing the four for this Knicks team, not the five. Understand where Gil is coming from, and I even understand where some of the other Knicks fans are coming from because Gil is not the only person that proposed this. A lot of Knicks fans, even some of you guys in the comments, actually wanted Julius Randle to start at the five and then see what happens under that. But honestly, like I said earlier, doing that under head coach Tom Thibodeau doesn't make sense. It's not a perfect fit, and it's not a perfect match. And if you know that already, why would you do it? Going back to Gil's comments, I understand where he's coming from. But if I'm a betting man, I will absolutely guarantee you that you will not see Julius Randle play significant time at the center position next season for the Knicks. That role is likely going to be given to Mitchell Robinson and maybe another player, depending on who we trade for, if we do make that major trade happen. But what about you guys? 
What do you think about former NBA player Gilbert Arenas suggesting that the Knicks should start the following five players? Randall at the five, OG Ananobi at the four, Mikel Bridges at the three, Josh Hart at the two, and Jalen Brunson playing point guard. Let me know in the comments below, guys, because honestly, I would love to hear from you. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave a comment below. And of course, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.